Hey, I'm Cindy with The Pulse, and I'm here with the fabulous Michelle Burquest, creator of CWI, Connected Women of Influence, and we are here at the gorgeous Morgan Run Resort and Golf Course. How are you? It's pretty gorgeous here this morning, right? Isn't it's this, like, amazing. Gorgeous? Well, we are here for our first inaugural event, which is Tee Off for Success, How to Get Ahead in Business with Golf. And we are excited about the turnout today. I love it. And this is different. I know you're expecting about 75 women today and men, which is exciting. Both professional men and women are welcome today. Absolutely. What was the inspiration behind this event? You know, it's interesting. It's like so many of our members, and it's like, you know, statistics of how to get ahead in business. There's different statistics and different reports and things that show if you play golf as a professional woman, you have a higher chance to get on corporate boards. It's like you have a chance to get better into the, like, let's say, corner offices of corporate America. It's a better way to build relationships. And so many women, at least what I found, because I'm just learning how to play golf too, haha, I'm learning, is we said, you know, what if there was a unique event, not as a tournament, but a way to kind of showcase how to get ahead in business. So we put together part instruction, part workshop, part networking, because everything's about networking with women and social, social networking. And so let's just have one grand day and bring all of this together and learn, network, have fun. And then we're also wrapping everything up today with a panel luncheon about different executive women and women CEOs who are gonna talk about how they have gotten ahead in business with golf. I'm here with the amazing Jen Harris, founder of High Heel Golfer. How are you? Doing well. How are you doing? So well. We're here at Morgan Run for the first Tee Off for Success event. You've partnered with CWI. Tell us a little bit about this inspiration. So High Heel Golfer started because I wanted to create something where I could teach women how to utilize golf for business. I was working at a defense contracting company and realized how beneficial it was for me and my career. I think in nine months I was promoted after playing a round of golf with the clients. Two years later I couldn't get fired um, and I got, it was just, I mean amazing the relationships that I built through golf. All on the golf course. All on the golf course and not a lot of times on the golf course, so just a few times. So I think it was once at the beginning of that job and then once afterwards, which was kind of wild to think that you could learn something and do something just once, four hours, and have a lot happen from that four hours. So building those deep relationships with golf, you decided to start this company and, and show other women how to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it just was something a lot of women don't play golf and they think they have, there's a lot of fears associated with it, but they're all getting invited. They're all, you know, wondering, should I be out there? And I'm here to just help them kind of make that first step. I'm here with Susan Bateman, owner of Zuli Creative. How are you? I'm good. So you're a sponsor today for this Connected Women of Influence first golf event. Tell us about how you got involved. Well, I first heard about the event from Michelle and Jen Harris. And being a golfer for the last 20 years, but wanting to be better, wanting to be able to use it for business, kind of not being able to go out on the course with the guys, I was really excited to be able to open this up to other women who might have that same issue, but will be interested in the game, but, you know, not feel comfortable. Now, the theme for today is how does business help us in golf, and how does golf help us in business? And I find it puts me at a real good competitive edge with men. I know what the hell they're talking about now. <laughs> I can get out on the course and talk with them about it. So in those ways, it's really been a great voyage. And you know, I'm just a year into it. Someday I'm going to play a real course. Um, I think the only reason I don't play now is I don't want to slow everyone down. It takes me a while to get to the, to the tee. Well, um, like Christy, I come from a sports background, 
and uh, a lot of swimming and different sports. I actually was uh, one of the original sea maids at SeaWorld and swam with the whales and the dolphins. And, and people find that kind of thing interesting. And in golf, uh, the gentlemen that I play with find it interesting to talk about something besides work. I think the advantage of our business and my business in commercial real estate is a captive audience. So when we're out there for four or five hours and we're doing business, it's a re more relaxed atmosphere and a tendency for the guys to just enjoy themselves and, and not really think about it if it's a male or female that's playing with them. And uh, it has helped me in my business because I have what I call my hit list of potential golfers. Some of the guys don't play golf and a lot do. So when the opportunity arises, um, I take them golfing. So you are actually going to be a panelist today for Michelle for Connected Women of Influence at the golf event. How do you feel about that? I think it's a great opportunity because I think that women need to get out and learn how much fun uh, it can be to play golf. Exactly. Networking, a lot of men do it. So tell us your perspective on this whole golfing and networking. Well, I think that, you know, what golfing does, it allows you to get to know people better. And so it's a great opportunity to, to network and then have fun too. So you guys think you'd come back? Because I know this is the inaugural event, but we're going to do this again next year. So would, can we expect to see you then? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, it, it's fun. You know, it's a great concert. It's good for us to meet some new connections and, and talk to women in business, which is always a kind of a, a new niche for us as well. And, um, and especially being on the golf course. I would say I'm an avid golfer, but I'm a golfer. I'm addicted. And um, so being out here is just, it's just a great environment. It's a great office.